Hey, baby, I got something I got to tell you. Something I haven't said in a while. What? I really love... Oh, baby. No, no, no. no. What? What? What do you think I love? I thought you were going to say you love me. No, I, I love I love travel Wait. days. Today's a travel day, and we get to drive for about four hours. I, yeah. I love travel it's days. It's been a long time since we've had a long travel we just day. Had... Not, not a long. I mean, this is like an average travel day. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but we haven't driven four hours in a while. And there's not a lot of four hour drives in Baja unless you want to do it like, like yeah. in one big swoop, but we're not. We are going back north, sadly leaving the La Paz area, headed to Huncalito Beach. That's the goal for today. Um, and we spent one night there before. Our friends Scott and Melissa got their fifth wheel stuck. That was a crazy cool adventure. And then uh, we got out of there and you said you wanted to go back. Yes, I like Huncalito a lot. Because I am your charming husband, I am going to take you to the places you want to go. And there are boobies there. Oh, there are boobies now. Yes. This is a child-friendly... <laughs> everybody knows Chris and Lindsay don't boobies use... Boobies the bird. Oh, the bird. Are they blue-footed boobies? No. No. They were just regular boobies. Oh. Nothing special. <laughs> no, no, nothing <laughs> special about the boobies. So, <laughs> so before we go, um, we just want to say... Hello to our neighbors um, if they're watching and we're terrible because we didn't get to know their names know. but we're on our way pulling out of La Marinatha campground here in La Paz and our neighbors recognized us from the remodeling videos that we did uh, on YouTube, on YouTube. Yeah. and we just got to spend an hour mashing life together really quick offering some ideas for how they're remodeling their RV super amazing awesome people reminding us renewing us refreshing us on why we love to travel so much why we want to help you if it's your dream to get out on the road that's really what why we do what we do we're going to go to cool places and see cool things but it's really it's the people i think that, that make this life special i'm addicted to life on the road i don't see a life any other life for me and i think it's because of the people that we meet every day we get surprised by incredible stories of people and and just you know it's awesome for now we got to get on the road four hour drive it's going to be a wonderful four hour we'll put on some tunes good old need to breathe johnny swim some worship music and we will just be uh cruising along get back out on the road let's do it what do you say let's go bye yeah. la paz i got the pink trucker hat on i am a pink truck driver today pink truck driver something pink like that truck pink pink mm -hmm. whatever we're on the road bye Okay, we're at one of the very few places in Baja where you need four-wheel drive, and um, this is it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and press the button and turn on our four-wheel drive. Woohoo, press that button. <laughs> there it goes. And uh, so it's soft sand, and uh, we got our four-wheel drive on, so here we go. Why does it look different than when we came down before? Because people have been driving through it. Stay to the right, because that's what we did before, right? Whoa, it's like nothing like this before. It is ruddy and soft. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Whoa. You feel me fishtailing? Yeah, a little bit, but I think that helps out in the dueling. Yeah. Gives you better traction. Woohoo! Made that look easy. <laughs> you probably thought we were crazy. Whew. Thank you, Four Wheel Drive. Woohoo! Brought to you by Ford E450. <laughs> the 
sun is in my eyes. Good thing I have these sunglasses brought to you by Knock Around. They are the sunglasses that we prefer. We're not sponsored by Knock Around. I don't even know why I'm saying that except the sun's in my eye. Sun's about to set, the mountains are beautiful. You may recall if you watched the episode earlier when we were here on our way south. Um, we got parked and it looks like people are stuck in the sand behind us. So I'm gonna grab the shovel and our traction pads and go try to dig them out because this is where we got dug out too. Not us personally, but Scott and Melissa. So let's go check it out. It's like not even, he's giving it gas and it's not going anywhere. The very last thing I did before we left La Paz was I took a shower. <laughs> I didn't know when the next shower was coming, but it was gonna be two weeks and here I am covered in dirt. So I'm gonna go, go do a little bathing in the ocean, I think, and rinse it <laughs> down. Enjoy but, the cold water. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing. We always try to help people and even if we aren't helpful, that truck did all the work. We just didn't have the truck or the straps, but yeah. it's always good to try to help people out. Because we were literally stuck, stuck here with our friends. And Someone helped us, so. Don't believe in karma, but I believe in doing good things for other people. Buenos dias, we had a beautiful morning here in Huncalito. We woke up to the sunrise and dolphins. There was like a super pod of dolphins out here. I think there were like 50 dolphins. And I ended up flying the drone uh, right over them and got some amazing footage of them. It was uh, pretty wild. Uh, and then we enjoyed a nice walk on the beach. Uh, just down to the rocks over here behind us. I really like this beach. Um, it's free, well it's supposedly free, and then they do say that if the trash guys come here to pick up that you should give them a 100 peso donation. But so far we haven't had anyone ask us for money. So the two times that we've camped here it has been free. But we are about to leave. We have a nice easy drive day to the Bay of Conception. It's just two hours of way. We're right outside of Loretta right now. And um, we should get there and hopefully find a nice spot on Coyote Beach.
Well, we just arrived at the Bay of Conception and pulled into our favorite beach, Coyote Beach, and it is still packed. Um, we did manage to find a spot uh, in between two palapas that are being used. Uh, we really don't need a palapa. I don't really uh, care about that, but we have two sets of friends coming, um, Scott and Melissa from La Paz, who we are camped with in La Paz, and then their friends Robert and Kasha. They're supposed to arrive either today or tomorrow. Um, we have some neighbors that told us that they are going to leave tomorrow, and then also some um, people that are here just for the day. So that opens up two more spots right next to us, which works out perfect. So we're hoping that we do not have to leave Coyote. Um, we did, Chris drove down the beach and all of the long-termers, like the Canadians that come here for the winter, they're already gone. And this place is still packed. So there's that many people uh, still down here traveling through Baja. I guess it's everyone that is now heading north. Um, because the beach is full, like all the way down. There's like a couple of small spots, but only big enough for like a truck camper or a van. But we are here and we are now getting settled in and hopefully um, we heard about there being a whale shark here recently just this past week that might be another reason why there's so many people here but hopefully we will spot a whale shark we'll see <laughs> 